Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to Quartz Party. Last episode things got quite a bit interesting and kind of heated. Last episode, Ayumi went mad and burned Naomi's dinner ID along with her piece of the Sachiko charm, meaning that Naomi is sadly stuck here. Ayumi, you are one twisted individual. So yeah, looks like we're playing as Ayumi again. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but whatever it is we're doing. Oh yeah, we're looking for Miss Yoi, who surprisingly we still haven't found her. Like we found out she's been alive for quite some time, like since uh since the end of chapter two that she's still alive. We haven't seen her since. Strange but true stories of the occult. Chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school building, part four. By Ku Kibiki. I shouldn't be alone. I shouldn't be alone. We are not the first to come here, it seems. There have been many before us. And every one of them has either died or been swallowed up by the school itself. I'm not simply using the word swallow for dramatic effect either. It is, regrettably, an apt description. There's a massive curse encompassing this entire building. It's like an empty unto itself, and it slowly devours the souls of men. You think that's what's happening to Ayumi? Think the school is consuming her? It chips away at the person's core, sanity, reason, even identity, eventually destroying him. Nothing that made him who he is left behind. I think that's what's happening to Ayumi here, yeah? Once it's gripped your heart. You quickly succumb to despair and loneliness. The essence of what makes you human is literally eaten away. As if by worms. Ugh, that's kind of descriptive. When this happens, the body begins to necrotize and the soul becomes as black as spent ash. We come to regard this process as... The Darkening. And whoever succumbs to the Darkening becomes an inseparable part of the school itself. In rare instances, one may be able to avoid the full act of darkening, instead fitted to be seared unbearably by intense, violent thoughts and emotions. Yeah, that sounds like that's what's happening to Ayumi. But most of the time, his soul will be rooted here, and he'll be cursed to wander these halls for eternity, with no hope of passing or exorcism. Yikes! Thus, my use of the word swallowed, this school swallows us whole, growing fatter with tortured souls every day. It makes me shudder just thinking about it. That means by which I come here. The Sachiko charm. If its particulars ever got out into the mainstream, this school would never go hungry again. To any who may be reading this fourth installment, and soon the fifth. It's queer that you're a victim trapped within this hellish place, just as I am. The least I can do is give you some advice to help keep you alive as long as possible. If you still have even the dimmest shred of hope, hang on to it. Keep it firmly in your heart. Never give up on it. I can't stress that enough. I hope you'll be looking forward to part 5. My assistant, Taguchi, has disappeared somewhere. Now that I'm by myself, I can no longer go home. So I'm just going to keep writing. It's my one true calling after all. No matter what happens, as long as there's life left in me, as long as my hands can still move, I will never stop writing. Well, we saw Kibiki in, uh, in that one closet, so we know what happened to him. So that, that's a shame, but at least he wrote till he died. Oh, hello. I don't know why we're still helping each other out. Like, uh, we're not exactly friends no more. Can I go into the boys' room? Is there anything in the boys' room? Hello? Nope, the doors are all fixed. Yeah, I guess there's no, nobody screaming in that door anymore. All right, well, there ain't much in here. Let's go down here. No sound, just silence. Oh. Hello. Oh. Yeah, honestly though, why are we still helping each other? Like, uh... 
And Yumi made it perfectly clear that she doesn't care what happens to Naomi, only cares about uh, Satoshi, and... I don't think Satoshi wants to be anywhere near her after what just happened there. Where's the... Oh, do I have to go back downstairs to use the... The pentagram to switch back? Okay. Oh, hello! Hmm, what's this? A brown envelope is resting promptly atop the bodies of... Naho and Kibiki. It definitely wasn't there before. It's too dark to see what's in it here. Let's step outside and take a look. Okie dokie. It's a photograph. Ah! Ah! No. No, it can't be. Is it Yuka? Oh, no. It is. Uh, what did I say when we started playing as Yuka? What did I say? What did I say? It was very simple. I said one thing. She better not die. I will be heartbroken if she died. She died. I'm heartbroken. How dare you? The photograph in the envelope clearly depicts Yuka. And she doesn't look well. No shit. She looks dead. Ah! No! No, please! Well, I guess uh, we're not playing as Satoshi and Naomi anymore because the pentagram is gone. Okay. Hi. It's the body of a senior high school student. I don't care. I just care about your name tag. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think I really screwed up since, well, <laughs> everything is going wrong. Hello? Looks like there's another room right next to this one. Oh! That don't look good. This room seems to be set up for black magic or witchcraft or something. Yeah. Uh, what's happening? I don't know, but it's an earthquake. <laughs> my, my head. My head is throbbing! Uh, why isn't anyone coming to help me? Well, you basically screwed over everybody who's still alive! Yuka's dead. Um, we don't know what happened to Yoshiki. We don't even know if he's here or if uh, Yuki killed him because uh, she may have lost her mind again. And you burned any bridge you had with uh, Satoshi and Naomi. You're on your own, girl. I was just saying. And you got no way to blame but yourself. A nosebleed? No. God. I need a tissue or something. <laughs> as Ayumi pulled a tissue from her pocket, she inadvertently pulled out her student ID as well. It slipped from her hand and immediately fell through a hole in the floor, as if sucked down from below. Well, there's karma for you, bitch. <laughs> no. No. Why? Why? My student ID. My paper doll scrap! Yeah, that, that's karma. That, that's called ka karma, uh, Aomi. Hey, Miss Shishido. We found her finally. Uh, Shinozaki. Where the hell have you been, Miss Joy? Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh, Miss Joy? Miss Joy! I'm guessing she's dead. And if I had to guess, I guess I would say, uh, Ayumi killed her. I, I mean, I don't know what happened. Like, the lights went out, but... Seeing how Ayumi's here on her own crying, and we heard, like, a lot of sounds that sound like, uh... You know, someone being murdered. I think, uh, Miss Yoi is gone. Miss Yoi? Miss Yoi? <laughs> Miss Yoi? <laughs> Miss Yoi, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did you kill her? Kishinuma. Where the hell are you? What are you doing? Why aren't you responding? Write me back for God's sake. <laughs> if you really did follow me here, then show your damn face already. Oh. I, I found him, but um, he not looking good. Ah, Kishinuma. Asking you shall receive, I guess. 
Do you have any idea how worried I've been? If you don't respond to my text, how am I supposed to know you're alright? Do you have no service or something? Did you run out of batteries? Ah. 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 I think he has fallen to the darkening. He looked uh, pretty dark to me, like consumed by darkness. Just saying. Ah. Satoshi, are you all right? Yuka, she was probably scared of her mind and in a lot of pain. And I, I wasn't there for her. She was all alone. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault, Satoshi. Naomi. It's not your fault. So whose fault is it then? Whose fault is it, Naomi? Huh? Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Show yourself, whoever you are! You must be getting a really good laugh out of watching us suffer. Satoshi! <laughs> ah! What is it? I just happened to glance out the window. At the car walkway between the two buildings, and I saw a red dress. What? Goddamn piece of shit little girl! I'm going to make her pay for what she's done! You have no right to mess with the living. Watch out, Sachiko. Satoshi's coming after you, and you have no idea what he's going to do. But yeah, we kind of really screwed up. Everyone is dying, and I know how I screwed up. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to follow uh, Sachiko when I was playing as Yuga. Hold it right there, Sachiko. You ain't going nowhere. Oh... Uh, I found Yuka. Looks like her brain was cut over her head. And uh, I think Satoshi fell to the darkening. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I done screwed up. Uh, Satoshi? Satoshi, put yourself together. What happened to you? Naomi, I'm sorry. I'm not going to make it. What are you talking about? What's gone into you? I've lost my will to live. Don't say that. This is my paper doll scrap. I want you to have it. Satoshi, no. You need to find Shinozaki and then go home. Yeah, I got the feeling that's not going to happen. Stop talking like that. Don't give up. If you need a reason to keep on living, then I'll give you one. Do it for me, damn it. Keep on living. For me. Nay. Oh. Me. I, I think he's long gone. I'm sorry. Oh, they found each other. I have a feeling this ain't gonna go well. No one's really got anything to say. Miss Joy is dead. Ah, uh, Miss Joy. Nakashima, where did you get that paper doll scrap? Is it Mishida's? No, Satoshi still has his own. This is Yuka's. Poor girl, she didn't make it either. Hmm. So that means there are two between the both of you. Sorry to ask, but can I have that one? You're a real jackass, you know that? Actually, I'm only asking because I wound up losing mine, so give it here! Ow! Oh, God. Yikes! And Yumi, you twisted bitch! Holy shit! <laughs> Check it out, Mishida! I killed her! I killed her! Killed her! Killed her! Killed her! <laughs> I killed, 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 killed her! Killed her dead! 
D-E-A-T, Dad. <laughs> the filthy pig is gone now. You're free to be with me. Come on, let's get out of here together. What is that, by the way, like to the side, like, to the left of Ayumi? Is that a piece of uh, Naomi that uh, Ayumi ripped off? Yikes. <laughs> Sorry, Nakashima. Looks like I get the guy after all. And you get dead. Yeah. Um. Yeah, about that, Ayumi. I think you done goofed up. <laughs> it takes two to get out of here, and you're all on your own now. <laughs> The darkening. No. No. No, 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 no. No. No! Ah! Wait. If Mishida's not with me, then how do I get back home? Yeah, that's the thing. You don't. You're here all on your own. <laughs> oh, you duck goof. Naomi was your only ticket home and you killed her. No. That's... <laughs> and Naomi dies with a smile on her face. Knowing that in the end she got her revenge. And Yumi's not going anywhere either. They're all gonna die here. Yeah, I really screwed up. Like, uh, everyone died besides Ayumi. Not a single person to survive, and she's as good as dead too because she's the only living thing left. And it takes at least two people to warp out of there, so... It's a kind of shame that's the end. I do kind of wonder how uh, she got up, she would have gone out there or how she would have died. Be the only one left there, but... Eh, I guess there'll be some room for wondering. We can wonder that as, uh... Well, I am going to have to play that chapter again because I'm not going to end this series with a bad ending. We're going to go back into that and next time we're going to do things right. So, thank you everybody for joining me and coming to the bad ending of Course Party. Hope you guys have enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye everybody.